Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jasmine the Buffet Witch, but you already knew that um, because that's the title of the book that we're reading, right? Right. Um, I hope you guys understand the whole, like, my intro. Every time I, I start a video, I just say something random, something different. Um, just a way to keep it fresh, hopefully keep it entertaining. Um, and welcome to the second hair look. What do you think? I like her. Um, it's kind of a cinnamon dew. And honestly, this one is not going to last very long. I really did a super quick, like this is for the photos and I'm probably gonna take this off tomorrow, okay? Um, I don't know what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do next, uh, but this is not something that I'm gonna keep on. And if I do, it'll definitely be covered, wrapped up and whatnot. So when I do these really quick, quick weaves, I don't really mess with the closures as much. If I know I'm gonna keep it on for a while, it's gonna be more versatile and whatnot, I will do my different closure me methods, but for just play, look, Barbie's got things to do, okay? Barbie doesn't have time to be worrying about making handmade spider closures, okay? So I just slapped two holes together and called it a day, and now we're done. But I'm loving the color. At first, as I was applying it, I was like, I don't know about this color, but she's cute. A little bit of a cinnamon moment. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to introduce her and let's call her, let's call her Jasmine, okay? This is Jasmine and Jasmine is feisty. She's flirty, but she's a bit, you know, she's mature. She's, um, she's gonna make you work for it. I don't know what any of that means, but that's how she feels, okay? So anyways, this video is going to be another lip video. So again, for my Mima, hi Mima. Um, and in this one, I decided, I'm sorry y'all, y'all know I can't stop touching my weaveronies. But in this video, I decided to swatch all of my Juvia's Place lipsticks. Now, I want to do this because I recently, like I said um, in a previous video, I broke my no-buy because I can do that. And I'm very proud of the things that I brought into my collection. I'm very happy about what I purchased. And when I do a no-buy, but then I break it and I bring in something that I know I'm going to use and that I love and that I'm going to enjoy and that actually fits within my collection, it feels like it, it didn't even break my no-buy. And honestly, I can say that I love everything. Well, there's one thing I haven't really tried, but the things that I bought, um, most of them you'll see today. Sorry, a few knots. I'm very happy that I bought, so I'm pretty excited about that. So let's get started. So I wanna swatch my Juvia's Place lipsticks. We are gonna start with the, um, the Nubian Earth collection. So that's all the brown tubes. These are so beautiful. I'm gonna swatch these. I do have some lip liners out from random brands that I have, but I don't always like to use a lip liner, which is why I don't typically think to incorporate them when I'm just wearing lipstick. I just put a lipstick on and call it a day. I also do have pigmented lips, specifically my top lip, and I have kind of a natural lip liner. Um, again, my lips are quite big and I get, I have like a shelf. <laughs> so my lip line is kind of up. I don't know if you can see, like a bridge. And on the bottom, it kind of folds down. So um, sometimes depending on the color of lipstick that I'm using, my lips look bigger and or smaller. But I always stay either within or on top of my line. I don't ever overline because I don't need to. P.S. My face is facing. Um, I've got some blemishes, but that typically happens to me after I dermaplane. And if I do it too quickly, if I get you know, some irritation, but you know what? We're gonna keep on moving. I actually think it looks kind of cute. So say hello to my little friends, okay? They'll be gone soon. I'm not worried about them because they're not like pimple pimples. They're just like, I don't know, mounds. <laughs> Let's move right along. <clears throat> so again, we're starting with the Juvia's Place Nubian Earth Collection, beautiful lipsticks, beautiful eyeshadow palette. I can't wait to pull that one out of my collection and get some use out of that. This is the shade Nile. I'm gonna show you all the lipsticks first and then we will go ahead and pop them on. This is the shade Soil. I did talk about Soil in my last video. Um, Sheba, oh, I love this shade so much. Please don't, don't break these, Jasmine, and knock them over or any other things. Clay, which looks a little bit similar to Soil, but next to each other you can see that they are different. 
And then the last one is Nubian Sand. So she's going to be our super light pale shade. All right. So these are the lipsticks we're working with. So what I like to do is I take Sheba, which is the darkest shade, and I'll use that as a lip liner because it's already here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take Sheba. I'm going to line my lips, and we're going to start with Nubian Sand, which is the lightest shade. So Genius Place lipsticks are what? Uh, about 14 maybe $15 each. So about the price of a yesteryear MAC lipstick. Because I believe MAC bullet lipsticks used to be 15 bucks and now they're like 22. Now, I had MAC lipsticks. I think I had, I know I had Ruby Blue multiple times. I think I had, what was it called? I can't remember, it's not important. But once I started buying Julia's Place lipsticks, MAC, never heard of her, never heard of her. All right, so this is Nubian Sand. And these are both quite neutral. Nubian Sand is a little bit yeah, she's very neutral. Peachy shade. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know where to look. <laughs> I'm going to turn my light off. I know these are kind of dark. I like that okay so that is Nubian sand with Sheba now if I were going to keep this on I would go ahead and gloss it and what better gloss to use on this shade than also from the Nubian earth line this is the Nubian nude lip gloss is that what this is called no the lipstick is Nubian sand this is Nubian nude and she is just that a nudie almost a uh, grayish. This looks amazing on lip lipsticks um, and it looks amazing by itself. And there you have it. That is Juvia's Place, Nubian Nude, Nubian Earth, and Shiva beautiful. So I am going to go ahead, take a few photos of these, and I'll be right back. This is going to be a long video. Ooh. Okay, we're back. So let's go ahead and try clay. Now with this color, I'll swatch her for you. With this color, I feel like we should use a brown liner. Let's go ahead, but I don't want to use something like Nima Tang's liner and chocolate chip, which is that super dark neutral um, black and brown. I feel like with this shade, I want to use something that's a little bit brown, but a little bit red. Um, I'm going to try, let's, let's swatch these next to each other because this actually might be the same shade. Hmm. This is actually, yeah, I like that. This is my Minted Cosmetics lip liner. Oh, maybe it's called Minted Night. I think that's that might be the shade. I have to get more minted. This is a brand that I need more of. Oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, I like this shade. I don't know if you can see. Very creamy. Oh, 
this is so creamy. Very, very comfortable. I like that. Let's get some more use out of that. Let me just take these swatches off real quick before I get them all over everything. All right, so again, we're gonna go in with clay. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh, I like that. It looks really nice with my hair. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is beautiful. And honestly, I want to keep this one matte. So we will not gloss her. But honestly, if I were going to, I'd probably sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me, mom. Gee. Take that, you velvety hack. Jeez. Points if you know where that's from. Anyways, if I were going to gloss it, I would just pop on this uh, Juvia's Place uh, Sweet Orange Lip Oil. Lip oil. 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 It's a weird word. Anyways, yeah, I would just stick on this lip oil. <laughs> but honestly, like I said, I kind of want to keep this matte. So that's the finished lip. Ooh, I like that. All right, I'm gonna take a few photos and we'll come right back in with the, we'll come right back in with the next shade. <laughs> So this is very similar to uh, the last one we just did in clay. Um, <clears throat> and this one is more orangey though, more terracotta. I feel like for this one, I wanna do a darker brown. Actually, you know what? I feel like for this one, I just wanna use this on its own. So let's do that, okay? Yeah, she's got like a orange tinge to her. And I kind of want that on its own. Because that way it'll stay, you know, nice and bright. Yeah, this is like an orange lipstick. I like that. Very nice. That was easy, girl. <laughs> That was easy. It's more, no, I didn't. Just knocked my lipstick into my acrylic container. Come on now. It's more pumpkin-y, like a pumpkin spice type deal, you know? I like it. Should we gloss this one? Sweet orange lip oil. Why not? Ugh. Oh, I don't like to get my applicators dirty. OCD about that. That's also why I don't be mixing stuff because I'm like, ooh, I don't want my lip glosses to get ugly. <laughs> All right. And again, I am not really a lip oil girl. I don't really see the point. I bought this because I love Juvia's Place and I like orange. But um, yeah, that's the finished lip. Ooh. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. All right. I'm going to take some photos and we'll be right back to do the last shade. Oh, wait. We got to do two more shades because we have to do Nile, but then Sheila got to be by herself because we, you are, you, you don't know. I, I, I say, you know, because I've been doing this for a really long time and I'm pretending like, you know what I know, you know, you know, you know, um, but we've, we've got, we've got steps for Sheba. Sheba already has an outfit. She knows she knows how to give information. Okay, so let me take a few photos of this, then we'll come back, do Nile, and then we'll come back and do Shiva. All right, so Nile. Nile is giving me neutral with a tinge of yellow. She's got a bit of a mustardy undertone to her. I don't know if you can see that on my hand. So for her, I feel like a dark brown is gonna look really nice. I'm gonna just use, this is the, like, it's so hard to see the brown script on this black pencil. But this is one of the LA Girl uh, Glide Liners, and this is in the shade brown. 
I did not know LA girl, this stuff is made in Germany. And so are the Juvia's place, right? Oh, no, th these are made in Italy. What was I looking at? Something said it was made in Germany. Whatever, okay, and that oil is made in China. Anyways, so again, we're doing this dark brown liner. This one's kind of sticky. My, 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 my little bit lip, lippity bongs. Okay. Now we're going to go in with Nile. I don't know. The liner might be a bit too cool for this liner or lipstick. So I like to cover the lip liner with the lipstick. I thought that was my son, it's my husband. So anyways, I like to cover the lipstick with the liner and then blend them from there. Yeah. With this particular liner, you can see that this lipstick does have that yellowy, kind of like a butterscotch undertone. So it's like brown, but it's also a little gold, but it's still got a squinch of yellow, you know? Yeah. I feel like butterscotch is the best way to explain it. But it's very pretty. It's very much close to my skin tone, but broken up because of the dark lip liner. So I feel like if I had this shade just all over my lips, it would be like a concealer lip type deal. Excuse me, which I'm not opposed to. Time for some tea. Mm. What kind of tea y'all drinking? I'm drinking what Aramis would call grandpa tea, grandpappy tea, uh, Earl. I love Earl Grey tea. It's so good. I need a squatter. I'm sorry, a cardigan. <laughs> Anyways, so that is that lip. And I feel like this one needs a gloss as well. Let's not be boring and use the same gloss. Um, I do kind of want to stay within Juvia's place, but we don't have to. We can deviate. We can we can share the wealth and and let other people play. So why don't we go ahead and use the holy grail of mine, uh, Starlight. So this is one of the shimmer bombs from Revolution. This is the kind of yellow one, um, and this is the pink one, so you can see the difference. Okay. So I always like to use this one when I'm using like browns uh, or like shades like this. I want to stick in that yellow brown um, color range. Again, I don't like to get my applicators dirty, girl. Mm. That's beautiful, yes. I like it. Clean up, clean up, keep your dofus really clean, clean up, clean up, then put the dofus away. I'm sorry, book foot. Emily Noel, what I can't even remember what concealer she was talking about. She was talking about something. Either it was a concealer or a lip gloss or something that had a big old doe foot. She was like, this is a buck foot. And ever since I heard her say that, I call 
all the big foots, book foots, okay? And I like saying foots because that's how I that's how I describe my son's foots and his feety feet. They're big, heavy, stomping feet and foots, okay? And he always got his little foots in my ribs, all right? What am I talking about? Anyways, that is this lipstick lip gloss lip liner combo see how i put lip liner at the end it's because i forget about it girl anyways that is this combo let's take some photos and we'll come back for the piece de la resistance is that how y'all say it come in we'll come in jeez we'll come back with one of my favorite lipsticks shiva was that so hard clearly it was okay we'll be back in a, a minty second just a minty one I just realized I flipped my camera. I hope that these won't be upside down because I don't know how to fix that. You'll just have to stand on your head and watch it, right? <laughs> I'm not worth that, don't do that. Anyways, so I forgot to take this off. <laughs> okay, so Sheba of all these shades is a shade that I wear quite often when I play. And hold on, cornflakes. And I love Shiva with the Nima Tang gloss. Now, I have yet to dupe that particular gloss, but I don't actually need to. As long as I can dupe the color, be it in a lipstick or the gloss, I will always have the gloss as long as I have a clear gloss. And I, of course, have plenty of clear gloss. Sorry for the ASMR, I'm sorry. So when I use Miss Shiva, I don't ever use a lip liner because why, why? We could, we could use a black eyeliner for this. You know what, girl? That's what we gonna do. We gonna do it. I'm gonna take my black liner from LA Girl. Hold on, close again. These was a bit dry. Not like that delectable minted cosmetics liner, which was so juicy, okay? Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna just, Line my lips with this black eyeliner that needs to be sharpened. Ow! Not on my delicate lippies. Mm. That was literally <laughs> the worst lip liner application I think I've ever done. What the heck was happening there? Okay. So that's that because like I said usually I don't do this so and then to get this back to be something that I use for my eyes I'm just gonna like sharpen for like 15 seconds to make sure I get any lip gloss or anything off of that so I can go back into my eye collection like I said I don't usually use liner with this I could oh my god I'm so stupid I could have just used a liquid my liquid lipstick right over the head but we already did it moving on Sheba where you at girl Beautiful, neutral, black and brown, deep, dark, delicious. Ooh, and uh, I may have done something. I think. Oh <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Um, that liquid or that eyeliner is going to now have to be a lip liner because. Oh, I need that combo in my life. Lip liner. Oh, that looks so good. So good so dark so rich so beautiful and this is exactly why i have excuse me i think that's so gross this is exactly why i have uh backups of sheba a backup of sheba because i need this in my life that is stunning now 
what I would do <laughs> and I don't know if I'm going to because this on its own is already a 10 for me what I would do next is put on the Nematane Joseph Colors lip gloss for that heavy super glossy just grungy 90s lip is it 90s I don't know you know I don't know time I don't want to but we're going to okay I really feel like this is gorgeous either way and the gloss was that necessary but it's oh maybe it was maybe it was because do y'all see that oh i know you see <laughs> i know you see it Oof, with the brows, oof, and the weave, come on, come on. Ma'am. My oh, mom likes when I do that, so. Those three tongue pops were for you, Mima. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I don't have no right looking this good. <laughs> I just don't, but I do. So let me go ahead and take some photos of these and then I'll come back to you guys. I don't even know if we're going get to get, get into the rest of this. Oh my God, guys. I forgot one. How did I forget Morocco? A beautiful mauve. Let's take these photos and end it out with Morocco, okay? Then we're going to move on to one more lip swatch type video and then we're gonna do some eyeshadow okay because i'm having too much fun here we, we could get lost okay 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 oh my god i forgot to take it off again <laughs> uh yeah that combo will be staying I don't need a black eyeliner. I need that. I need that liner for my lips. That was perfection. Yeah, I don't know how I forgot Morocco. So let's get her on the face. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, you know, she feels a little mauve-y. She is, ooh, she's close to my her. So, I don't know why I want to do this, but I'm going to use this mauve type of pencil from NYX. And this is one of those, why are these so long? Look at this name, y'all. <clears throat> this is the NYX Professional Makeup slide on glide on stay on and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner this lip liner is so good the name has to be this long the shade is nebula now nick Cerrone. no yeah sure fine it's fine who cares anyways moving on uh yeah this little purple moment you see it's just like this grayish Cause it kind of looks purple but then it looks gray where the fuck is the cap i'm sorry i swear guys i love swearing i swear a lot i don't swear at people but i do like to swear so that is the difference if you don't like that i'm sorry um get over it <laughs> uh so yeah 
but don't worry i do not swear at people i think that's extremely disrespectful but i do swear it's just speaking in cursive i don't let words control me okay and actually i really like that lip liner combo it's very subtle I don't really think it's even picking up on camera, but I do see it in person. It just actually, it's just giving just a squinch of definition to the shade, making my lip look a bit more 3D. And I actually really, really like that. Um, this one, let's go ahead and keep matte as well. And I don't think I really said, but the formula of these lipsticks, very smooth, very opaque, very easy to work with. They're very comfortable, hydrating, but not slippery. They're shiny, but not like, um, uh, well, yeah, not like a sheen. I guess this would be considered what? Like a cream formula, cream lipstick? Because they have a little bit of shine that is more moisture than anything. And they wear really well with lip liners and lip glosses. I just love these lipsticks so much. Very smooth in the bullet. The bullets themselves are absolutely beautiful. This collection, they really put their foot all up in it with the designs. I don't know if it's going to focus on that. But with the designs on these, it's trying to get my face. With the designs on these lipstick bullets, like they really went all the way in. And I just love them so, so much. So that is the Nubian Earth collection. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo of this and then we'll come back. And I think we're gonna move on to, I don't know, okay. All right guys. And Mima. Well, that is the end of this video. I thought I was going to do more, but I didn't realize how much I was going to talk and how long this was going to take. And of course, I have to stop and then take photos of everything. I should just get my other phone ready and take photos there, but it's too much, too much. So this is what we did and this is what we have. And I had a great time. I love these lipsticks so much. They are my favorite lipstick in my entire collection. Juvia's Place is just kind of the overall champion of my collection. I love the brand. I love all the things from the brand that I have. And I do have enough to do a full face of Juvia's Place, so that will be coming soon. Look out for that. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this quick little lip swatch vid show. We're going to be doing more because I have more. And I will see you in the next one. So until then, it's been me, Jasmine the Buffet Witch with Jasmine the Weaveroni. Yes, little sentiment moment. And it's been you and it's been great. And I hope to see you in the next one. Okay? Okay. Bye-bye.